Hey guys, so uh, Broken Arrow is not working at the moment, so I thought I would do a little video on my DAX. So I'm a Russia, I'm a US Army. Let's go straight to let's go to the Russians first. So this is my little deck. I think it's an alright deck. Uh, my recon. I got the Orions and I've got them fully decked out with missiles and also the best optics. Because obviously, you know, I want to see exactly where they are so I can uh, fire some missiles at them. And then my uh, got some recons as well. Got some uh, got the decent vehicles with them. I should probably downgrade these. Um, oh, actually, no, I'll keep them. I've got the weapon package as well on the good ones as well. So, uh, and my infantry, obviously, I think these are the best. They're the best infantry. Uh, they're like Speshnaz. And they're like, look at them. The beast. Can I zoom in? Look at them. Jesus. Hey, what's up? Oh, yeah, the AK 74s and that. Very nice. And then I got some SM anti air as well. You're yeah, definitely going to need those. And some. Okay, look. Uh, so they uh, attach to your arm. <laughs> and they fire them from your arm. I could change the squad to do that for better, but I haven't got enough, uh, enough points for that. Oh, uh, yeah, but they attach to your arm. They fire from the arm and they take them out by waving their hands, basically. But uh, these are anti tank. So nice, nice 80s. And I've got some squ normal squads, such so as soldiers, you know, like normal regulars. RPGs, machine guns, grenade launchers, and that sort of stuff. Even RPKs. And then these, I'm guessing these are the special forces, like the special infantry, because they carry, you know, they can carry a good armament. Four missile launchers. Pretty sure they only carry one RPG. These guys carry four, and they also have more RPKs. So they're more like a heavy team, more than anything. Uh, yeah, the infantry my vehicles. You're always going to need these. These tanks are, I know, they're the best Russian tanks. I mean, look at them, they're beautiful. Look at that. There's some Terminators. I probably should have more Terminators, to be honest. I might, uh, these, I don't, I don't even know why I have those. Uh, let's get rid of those, and let's add another Terminator, I think. Can I get a better weapon packet? Oh, they've already got the best anyway. No, I can't add any extra armor. But these are beasts. These are, uh, <coughs> Pretty sure, yeah, these attack everything. But these are the one of the best uh, vehicles for the Russians, anyway. Uh, especially, uh, you know, if they see any tanks coming, these will take them out. Any aircraft coming, these will take them down. Easy as hell. And then these are just for extras. They're pretty cool tanks. The T90Ms. They've got best machine guns, best armor. Have to have it. And my artillery. I'm, this is a like a more of an, more of an artillery kind of deck, as. Uh, I really, really like artillery. So you have these four load out extended range. You can fire a hell of a good distance. And then you've got these four um, um, ML, ML, M, uh, MLRS. So uh, they're pretty, look how many missiles they have. They can fire at once. A bad package. I got these ones. Like basic, I think, yeah. Are these thermal? Ah, okay, so the, oh, okay, so this rocket thing fires. Uh, um, th uh, like rockets with uh, like incendiaries, so uh, they're pretty good to be honest with you. They're pretty decent. Then I got one anti-air. It's got missile. It hasn't got the best package because uh, well I can't afford it. But uh, yeah, look at that. Look at that. I think they just carry less to be honest. So that that's my su support. My helicopters. I use these for transport. Uh, my supplies into the battlefield. I also sometimes use these depending on the situation. Um, ooh, I could probably add some extra. I okay, can look at that. <laughs> got some extra, right? And then I got some the uh, M um, Me 28s, which is they have obviously these guys, these rockets, good for uh, tanks. Very very good for tanks. And uh, happy days. Um, air. I don't really bother with air. I, I they, they just get shot down. I, I don't. I personally don't see the point. To be honest with you. But look at these. They are beautiful. To be fair, the devs are doing a really good, really good job. And then yeah, an SU-35 as well. Just in case. You never know when you need them. But that's pretty much my. Uh, oh God, yes, save. 
Um, that's pretty much my uh, my Russian deck. I think this is very, very effective, to be honest. Yeah, I won games with this on the closed beta. On the, on this beta, I've only played two games. Um, hopefully, the developers sort that out soon, to be honest. So, let's look at my US. Yeah, there you go, my US. Recons, of course. Anti-tank. Normal recon snipers. And then, I don't know why I have this one, but I do. I'll probably never use this, but it's just a thing of the points, really. Could probably uh, get rid of that and just add some better vehicles. Actually, can I do that? Let's have a look. Oh, I can as well. Okay, so then they got LTVs, LAVs. Sorry, very good. But these are very, very. These, the recon units—they're actually pretty OP, to be honest with you. They do have AT, so that they are pretty good. Like these got javelins, of course. Brilliant. And uh, yeah, my infantry. So AT. Of course, always. They uh, oh, do they have it? Okay, they uh, they also shoot their 50 cals on their shoulders because they are beasts like that. Yep, on the shoulder mounted guns, and then you got the you know the laws and that. What laws is uh, oh the dragon three. Okay, so basically a javelin, and I got normal marines. Of course, you always have to have marines, uh, specialized marines. So mech marines have to have them and also marine raiders these are actually pretty good to be fair um, very good for infantry uh, just because the GLs and the shotguns very very good for infantry so my vehicles so I got some of these these are for anti-tank yeah they got tow missiles pretty decent that long range um, got some just normal tanks some M1A1s and I've also got them in good armor as well. Should probably add. I can't add the jam system, but that's fine. I sh should actually probably have them. And then M1 Abrams, of course. You've got to have the Abrams. Best armor, of course. Just keep them protected in the battle. Uh, some more, uh, just M1 A2 sap saps. And I'm not really sure what the difference is, to be honest with you, apart from they're more expensive. So uh, I'm pretty sure they're probably better. Then the Abrams, yeah, I don't, I don't know, but uh, there we go. And then artillery support, of course. I got you always have to have a Patriot system, very good anti-air, and also got some uh, these for anti-air as well. They're pretty. I think they're anti-air. Yeah, the Stingers. Yeah, of course they are. Um, so yeah, these are very, very good anti-air. I got one truck to carry a large amount of resources out, of course. MLRS. Always need these bad boys. Got some extra MLRS, you know, you never know. And four um, Paladin art uh, artillery systems. That's pretty good. They're, they're not bad to be fair. Uh, helis, so I've got some Venoms for carrying supplies into battle, so it's faster. Cobra and a Viper. They're pretty much decked out fully. They are actually pretty good. They're actually really, really good. See two missiles, it is very, very good indeed. And the Vipers are pretty much everything as well. Side winers, yeah. Guided missiles, yeah, yeah. Should really change that to those, but uh, it's a bit of a while, doesn't matter. And then fighters, didn't really bother with them, but I just, you know, keep them there. You never know when you need them. But to be fair, I wouldn't bother with fighters. Like, this just going to get shot down, like I said. So that's pretty much my decks. Just a quick video showing what my decks are. Obviously, I don't expect you to copy them. They're not bad decks. I used them in the closed beta and also in a couple of games I've played, and they've done pretty damn well. Especially, especially the US. They they do pretty good, but the Russian tanks are pretty much OP. So they're really, really good. So uh, thank you for watching. Please like and please subscribe. I'd be much appreciated. Thank you very much. Bye!